Lord, please rise to the point of reading. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome. Today is April 10th, 2017. Can I have a roll call, please? Here. 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 Roll call. Aaron? Oh, yes. Kapura? Yes. Whaling? Absolutely. Coleman? Yes. Basil? Yes. Aaron? Yes. Anyone from the audience wish to address the board tonight? If not, we have the Commission's Beautification Commission, Trustee Aaron. We have a meeting tomorrow evening at 6 30 at starting. Um, we're going to be at the depot to walk the uh, depot area there, and then we're coming here to the meeting. Can you have somebody there at 6.30? I'll be here. For the dry question, Trustee Coleman. Yeah, everything seems to be running on schedule. Uh, things are falling into place. Uh, we've got a meeting next, uh, well, on the 18th, and uh, that will be held at the uh, Village Hall here. So, that's it. Sure. Thank you, Commissioner Trustee Coleman. Uh, April 1st was the Mom Sun Dance. It was well attended. Uh, approximately 175 to 200 people. Um, well, that's it. That's it? Yep. Ribbon of Hope, Trustee Beatle. Uh, we had an April 6th meeting here, and uh, we will have another meeting on May 4th at 5.15 here. Um, we have four benches that are being painted right now. We're looking to get our engraving done by the middle of, uh, or have the cutoff like the middle of May and get those engraved and hopefully dedicated uh, sometime in June, late June, and if the weather holds up and we can get everything done. Otherwise, it'll be probably uh, at the end of the year, late August or September. But we're looking to get the dedication this year in. So. Star Preservation, Trustee Will. Uh, we ordered the sign for the depot uh, in the museum. Uh, it's ordered, so we have that going. We have six uh, plaques that we're getting ready to order. Uh, we have six um, businesses and also homeowners that we're going to do those plaques for. So uh, it will be exciting to get that order and, and start putting those out. And that's my report. Marcy, Treasurer. Hi. Uh, Treasurer's report, Lynn. Uh, uh, village accounts for the, at the end of March were one million nine hundred and eighty one thousand five hundred and seven dollars and twenty two cents. Our general checking stood at uh, six hundred and fifty thousand two hundred and sixty dollars and seventy five cents. We are running at approximately the same balances that we had last year, a little over, but not too much. Our increases that you see in the changes on the right hand side are from our billing, our normal every two month billing. Uh, we have had some major engineering costs for the Penfill project, but uh, and uh, those are, and that's why the water service debt is uh, down. Um, and uh, this month the builder's escrow shows the difference of a drop of eight thousand six hundred and thirty six dollars. That was for the purchase last month of the rider mower and that cleared the account. Okay, and that's all. Oh, well, one more thing. About, uh, commission bills to non-AP payments is $186,277.42. Okay, thank you. Well, I'd like to make a motion approving treasury report and report of financial activity for March. Motion number four, is there a second? Second. Second. Any questions in the Roll call. 
Meyer? Yes. Basil? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Whelan? Yes. Kiperos? Yes. Aaron? Yes. Uh, variance reports for March are also included, enclosed for your review. And as far as the bills, uh, the list on the table includes a few additions of things that did not make the cut um, when the bills were approved. Yeah. You want me to go through them Sure. The additions. Uh, the call one bill came in. It includes $800 for a uh, maintenance, uh, something happened at the PD, and uh, at and had to come out and make a repair. That we are contesting that charge, that correct that, and we're working through that right now. We're going to pay call one because call one paid at and but we're not sure what AT&T did. Uh, we have two ComEd bills that came in uh, for the Fireman's Park for street lighting, uh, Constellation Energy, Bill 3 Booster. These were all bills that were. Uh, they came in since you saw them on Friday. Fagan Pharmacy, uh, shipping water samples. Uh, Tom Canute's prosecution bill. Uh, Mug and Bug, we bought uh, two 55-gallon drones of adult side that will get us through the coming summer. That was with money that we had budgeted this year. We a $1 charge on the water bill. The Vendette, we have a bunch of legal notices pertaining to our budget and to uh, PZC activity. Uh, Jeff Weisgerber uh, requested $85 for training and recorder office filing fees $37.75. And I thought there was one here for Xylem too, but I might have, yes, Xylem is a new one. I forgot to italicize that one. Uh, that's four sixty-seven fifty for a service call on two diesel pumps. This is the bill. This is Chairman. Okay, I'd like to make a motion um, approving March's bills in the amount of one hundred and sixty-two thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy-two cents. Motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. If there is a second. Any questions or motion? Roll call. Yes. Kaperos? Yes. Whaling? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Basil? Yes. Meyer? Yes. Um, we're going to consider a motion authorizing the elimination of the due to from the park account to the general fund in the amount of $176,138 and direct the treasurer to deposit all proceeds from park impact fees into the account starting May 1st, 2017. Uh, this we discussed at the last meeting, but we couldn't vote on it since it wasn't on the agenda. If the motion passes, we will eliminate the due-to from the ledger and take all the park impact fees we collect each fiscal year and transfer the money from general to the park account. This transfer will, will occur in April of each year at the close of the fiscal year. In April of 2018, we will reopen the park account with the proceeds collected during the coming year. So I would like to make that motion authorizing the elimination of the due-to from the park account to the general fund in the amount of $176,138 and direct the treasurer to deposit all proceeds from park impact fees into the account starting May 1st, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> There's a motion on the Good floor. Is there a second? A second. Is there a third now? <laughs> Question to motion. Oh. Meyer? Yes. Basil? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Whaley? Yes. <coughs> yes. Aaron? Yes. Uh, we consider a proposal from Duff and Phelps in the amount of $3,515 to conduct an appraisal of all non-park village facilities for replacement cost purposes. It's been 10 years since this has been done, and our self-insured liability pool has contracted with this company after an RFP process to provide standardized insurance audits of all insured facilities so the replacement value is properly calculated. We last conducted this appraisal process through the IMLRA in 2007. It was decided that each member of the pool pay for their appraisals to be fair to all members of the pool. In our case, six major facilities were identified and the full appraisal fee would be $3,515 or about $586 per facility including the <coughs> The replacement number generated will then be the insured value and premiums will be adjusted appropriately. The cost of the appraisals will come from the insurance line items in the budget, and there's an enclosed contract. Did we pay about? Did we pay that amount before to do this? Or? Uh, in the past, when we were with IMLRA, they paid for it. Okay. They actually had a certified appraiser on staff. Our new liability pool that we're with didn't want to pay for it because we have some towns that have 30 buildings and some towns that have three buildings. So we all agreed we pay for our own buildings and not make it part of the premium. So no one gets chipped in the deal. 
So that's why we're doing it this way. If it was being paid by the pool, we wouldn't even be bringing this up tonight. We would just do it. And then you pay it your premium. So I will make that motion to consider a proposal from Duff and Phelps in the amount of $3,515 to conduct an appraisal of all non park village facilities for replacement cost purposes. This motion on the floor, is there a second? Second. There is a second. Any questions in the motion? Roll call. Aaron? Yes. Kukuros? Yes. Whaling? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Basil? Yes. Myers? Yes. And that concludes mine. Just here? Okay. Uh, Considering the ordinance granting a special use permit for Sophia's Cafe for the permit display of an off premise directional advertising sign at 548 Dixie Highway is the Bowman um, property. After public hearing and finding of facts, the PCC recommends unanimously to grant a special use permit. The permit runs with Sophia's and cannot be replaced by another off premise business sign or modified in any way. Please see the enclosed ordinance and, and back of material. I had a question about this um, particular sign. Um, is it going to be vertical or horizontal that we're going to be? Vertical on a blue pole. So it's going to be yeah, vertical. It'll, be, it'll look like this scale. Okay. There was this drawing is not wrong. Yeah. Okay. This first application had a horizontal sign and it switched to a vertical. Okay. <coughs> okay. That's the only question that I had. If anybody else has any other questions? Uh, just to, to update the, the PCC uh, before the public hearing asked that the chief provide a visibility report. And I think Public Works went out and put up a piece of cardboard up there, and then we went and checked the visibility of the sign. And that's correct, Chief. You went yes. to that and you said that would be okay. It's from a visibility point of view. Uh, so we don't have an issue there with the visibility part of it. Nobody really testified at the hearing other than the petitioner. And following the hearing, uh, the PCC deliberated and passed the recommended approval of the special uh, Since Mr. Vidali is in the downtown business district, uh, he did not pay a fee for the application because that was one of the incentives we had for being in the downtown area. Then I'd like to make a motion. Uh, granting ordinance number 1259. 1259. Uh, granting a special use permit for Sophia's Cafe for the permanent display of an off premise directional advertising sign at 548 Dixie Highway, the Baldwin property. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. There is a second. Any questions or motion? Roll call. Meyer? Yes. <coughs> Basil? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. That's Railing? Yes. Pearls? Yes. Parents? Yes. Any other? Mike, you're good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Come on down for cocktails. <laughs> and beef. Any old old business to come before the work? Any new business to come before the work? We have nothing more to do as far as the CSX or anything else we can entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Four and there was a second. Any questions or motion? Roll call. Karen? Yes. Kaparos? Yes. Wayland? Yes. Holman? Yes. Basil? Yes. Fire? Yes. Thanks everybody. Good night.